Hi, it's Zena, Woodhog Princess. Welcome, welcome back. This will be a combined haul with Jujubee and Vera. Yeah, a couple different Veras. So the previous online outlet sale and some more Hello Kitty stuff because I couldn't keep my hands off of it. It's just too cute. Um, also, to take a moment to apologize for my absence, I have been taking a break. I took a, a little bit of a break for a week or two, and then I have been saying that my shopping will decrease because I need to be a little bit more fiscally responsible, and so that's part of that, but also I just came off of a two and a half week bender at the hospital. Now I say bender is on jest, but... Um, yeah, I was sick and took a time out from life um, once again, but back on the mend and back to life and getting ready to proceed for summer travels. So here we are all caught up again and one quick haul before I run out the door. So this haul has some fun stuff. It has the brand new Disney pattern from Jujubee. This is the 100th anniversary celebration pattern. I'm really happy with the placement on this. B this is the B set. Um, but there are two main 100 like face positions. Um, you'll see the other one in a moment. But this one, because it has the Pete's Dragon, I, I mean, the, the fact that they even brought that into it because he's one of the lesser known, whatever, but one of my favorites. It also has um, Ariel. Um, yeah, so it has, has Dumbo. It has Daisy Duck, Peter Pan, Jasmine, Thumper. It's got Cruella. Uh, and then it has like a lot of party stuff all around. And then, um, you really don't get too much of the other hundred, so it's like two main patches of the pattern. But the other one has some more princesses, Jiminy Cricket, Cheshire Cat, Mickey and Minnie. We'll see that again in a second, but anyway. So the be set with a nicely centered 100 front piece there and Pete's Dragon, yay. Um, the B set is, as always, two zippers that are lockable. It has three pouches. The center pouch in this case is the interior pattern, so sometimes they do that to mix it up. That is fine, although with so many wonderful characters, I honestly kind of would have liked to have seen more of the characters, but um, it is the the, cent the interior. You got your long strap, short strap. The long strap is adjustable. The Medium set piece has a single zipper, as does the small set piece, but the small set piece does have the pattern. And here is a bit of the other 100 center piece, so you got some of those characters. But we'll talk about those characters next, because I also got the Bestie. And the Bestie has them focused right there in the middle. So. The Bestie is, if you're not familiar, it's this little multifunctional piece, and it has that other 100, <clears throat> excuse me, perfectly centered there with the Cheshire Cat and um, Timon, and what, what we got Lady and the Tramp, we've got Chipmunks, we've got Jiminy Cricket, Tinkerbell, Princess, we got a little Aristocat, um, and Stitch. <laughs> anyway, so there's characters. And then on the rest of the bag, you do have other, um, there's the other hundred on the bottom. So I did get both. So that's kind of fun. But anyway, so the Bestie is a multifunctional bag. You can carry it like a little bag like this. You can make it a crossbody, a belt bag, a backpack. It has three loops on the back and it comes with a strap so you can you can use it all those different ways it has two zippers on the front so you open up that front 
and it draw down, drawbridge <laughs> down. Here's your strap. It is a nylon seat belt strap. It is adjustable. But this opens up, it does have gussets and, and actually is, it has quite a good capacity for a small bag. And it has the mesh on the front there for the pocket. It also has a zipper pocket on the back. This is a Bestie Plus, meaning it comes with a changing mat, which does also give you, of course, the entire pattern on it. So you can see there's kind of just two main clusters of characters and then just surprise stuff in between, like party stuff. So I think it's kind of limited in that way, the pattern it just had. But it does give it a broad spectrum of the characters and the spectrum of years of the movies and shows. In the front, you also have another pocket, which has a single zipper. I thought I had two, but this one. And it too has a mesh pocket, so you can fit the B set in there very nicely. You can fit a couple of them in there. And if you're like me and you kind of sometimes compartmentalize things, you got a bunch of more pouch space in the back. So, that is the Bestie, and it has silver hardware, so, nice little purse backpack, great little park bag, um, if you're one that has littles, you can have, like I did with my niece, I had the Bestie and she had the mini BFF, and so we were twinsies for some of our summer travels last year. Um, if you wanted to go bigger, there are three sizes of this style of bag. You have the Bestie, you have the Mini BFF on the smaller side, and you have the BFF on the larger side or the Dr. BFF. Um, so you can mix that up however which way you want. Okay, that's it for the Jujube, but Tokidoki tie-in. Uh, around the same time, I bought this little... Hi, Kelly. Come say hi. Hey, yeah, she's missed you guys. She's getting so excited. She's had some new adventures, huh? Yeah. We're going to go visit family on the farm. The farm. It's not a farm. Uh, okay. So this is just a notebook. It's kind of like the mini notebook with pocket from Vera. But this was the pattern with... Oh, what's the name of it? Oh, I'm not going to think of it. Um... The critters, uh, the little monsters. I think that might even be what it is. The little monsters from Jujubee. I mean, I'm um, from Tokidoki. But this was a Jujubee collaboration. I just didn't buy any of the Jujubee pieces. I only bought the notebook, which is still, it says right here, Tokidoki and Jujubee. Um, and it also says it on the little pen holder. It does come with that little elastic pen strap, which is kind of nice. It's just a notebook. It doesn't say how many pages, but based on previous slides, it's probably about 160 pages. And it has the Tokidoki characters and dressed up like the little monsters. I liked it, but I, I don't know. It was a little bit too chaotic or I don't want to say sloppy. But the art splatter thing just wasn't my thing, so I didn't. I did not need to increase my collection. <laughs> but I got a notebook. So, okay. But here's something familiar. We've already done Hello Kitty, but I had to go back and get a backpack. Had to. No, not really had to. But I had to. So here we are. Um, I went back to my store, and they had a very nice um, choices for placement. Um, this was one. There was another that wasn't quite as good. Um, both were good actually, but this one it does have a repeat if you look at If you look at it, you can kind of see okay, it repeats and, um, But it's not a direct repeat to all the way down here So it does mix up the the front a little bit and got pretty good selection of Hello Kitties all over and the Paisleys so Hello Kitty Paisleys so this is the campus backpack standard campus backpack it has the top handle it has the front zipper pocket, which is just straight across. It has the main pocket here, the main front pocket, we'll say. And that is um, very organized inside. You have an ID window, 
Behind that, you have a pocket and another pocket, so you have three layers of slips. You have a slip pocket on the other side, and then in front of that, you have four pen slots. So, a lot of space. You even have um, a good bit of gusset here, so it's about one and a half to two fingers thick in that pocket. So, you do have space for quite a lot in that little pocket. Um, and I'm going to tuck in these tags. Tags everywhere. All right, it has pockets on both sides. They are pretty generously sized. They're not very deep um, relative to some other, uh, like my water bottles these days are taller versus fatter, um, but they hold them pretty well. And then on the back, you have a side zipper pocket. This is a, like what I call my wallet pocket. It goes all the way across and it's about the width of your hand. So it's like this all the way across. And then you have two pockets that are your main pockets. The back one, single zipper, comes around with a diagonal zipper. That's your tech compartment for your laptop or whatever. It is padded on both sides. And then the main pocket is double zipper. And it is very standard campus backpack with the double mesh pocket on top and then just open pouch below. And here you can see the interior pattern. It's just that ditzy or the kitties and bows or bows and flowers or whatever that interior pattern was called. Um, it is recycled cotton. It does feel like recycled cotton. So it feels like that thinner, I hate to say cheaper, but I'm not a fan. Um, yeah, so that it is that. And it is a light color, so it will probably catch more dirt quicker than some of my other bags, but it probably also won't get much use because I have too many backpacks. On the back, it also has a nice big trolley strap. Uh, I won't say sleeve, but a sleeve I guess um, pretty wide the back is quilted it is not meshed but it is padded um, because that's the back of the tech compartment um, but it has channels for the quilting that's supposed to help get some of the airflow down in there so your back won't sweat as much for what that's worth um, but the straps are ergonomic and very comfortable pretty good adjustability on them um, there are plastic fittings now, so hmm, I don't know what I think about that. But, but it is cute, and I do love the colors, purples and teals and whatnot, so no change there. While we're on the topic of Hello Kitty, I did buy some more shoes, specifically the Hello Kitty slides. I, did, I bought some of the Cloud shoes previously, the regular ones. Um, but this time I bought the slides and I do think they run a little small a little so I ordered size 11 and I wear size 10 normally but I'm kind of like 10 10 and a half depending on the shoe but these fit me perfectly so I'm glad I did that um, but there they are the cute they're that same pattern they're really comfortable they have that tempur bottom or whatever they call it um, they call it the cloud. And Hello Kitty, Vera Bradley, San Rio. They do have a little bit of arch support. They are a little bit structured. They are very comfortable. So these might be on my trip. Great driving shoes. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Other thing I bought on sale. Uh, this is a semi-annual sale, I think. Not... Um, not an online outlet sale, which just recently ended and I completely missed because I was down for the count. Um, but this is just a notebook with pocket. It's amethyst plaid. It's the standard 160 college ruled pages. I do love the purple, of course. And I like plaids, but I like plaids when they're straight. So I didn't buy any fabric items. I just bought the straight items. I really don't need any more notebooks. But I got one because I like them. I don't use them all the time. And I got a clipboard folio. And this one is in the 
Um, this one says, Interport pack, no, interior pocket included notepad, silver accents. Well, I guess that's talking about the hardware, but the clipboard folio is, it's basically just a, a notepad and it is a little bigger. So I mean, in total, you know, it runs a little taller because it has that whole thing. But inside the notebook is regular paper. So the cool part about these is they're reusable. So if you use all this paper, this just slides out and you can put another notepad there of your own choice. Also, you can pull this out and poke holes before you use paper. So you already have pre-poked holes. So as you use them, you can put them in your binder or whatever, if that's your preference, like I do. Let's see, you don't poke holes through things that you've written. Um, you also can actually put one, a notebook on the other side. These are cardboard though, it's paper. It's not the plastic or anything. Um, it does have that pocket there to put some things, or you could put a second notebook if they're, or notepad if they're not too thick, it might still work because there is a little bit of extra there. Um, they do put the stickers right on the item, which drives me nuts. I think you've got it in a plastic sleeve. Why not put the stickers on the sleeve? Because they don't always come off cleanly. Now these look like they're going to be okay. Knock on wood. Okay, so that one's off. I guess I don't want that sticker blocking up my pretty plaid. It's just a black and white plaid. The name of which is Kingbird Plaid. Kingbird Plaid. There you go. Okay. Oh, stickies. So the stickies are off. Notebook aside. Okay. Now, moving on to the next item, still Vera Bradley, still plaid. I've got um, some items in Performance Twill, and this is in the Paris plaid. That was a while, a long while back of Parisian Paisley, and they don't really correlate, but whatever. Um, I do like this plaid. I think it's nice. Um, it does remind me of my aunt for her Scotty dog, but I didn't get her anything. These are mine. It may end up in hers, but yeah. But I got the uh, combined piece, so that retailed for fifty, but I did not pay fifty because it was it was half off plus military discount. So that's good. But it is performance twill, and on a small piece like this, you really. Can't Got a nice straight plaid, and then you can see the interior paisley dots, whatever they're called. And it's just a zip ID, regular zip ID, with a ribbed ribbon there. So the difference between buying the two pieces separately as a zip ID and a lanyard versus buying the combined piece um, is slightly cheaper, but you only get the one ring instead of a ring on both sides. Not a big deal if that's how you're using them anyway. Then I got something that's new-ish. Hi, Kelly. But I don't have any yet. This is my first one of the small crossbody. It's a little bigger than the or small hipster. It's bigger than the mini hipster, smaller than the small hipster. I think they call it the small crossbody. Where's the tag? I recall. Well, I guess we're not going to find out today. Here it is. Yeah, small all-day crossbody. So, <clears throat> instead of calling it a different hipster, staying in line with the styles and things they already had, they did change the name of it. So, there you go. It's not the, it's not the mini hipster. It's a little bigger. I should have brought out a comparison, but I would say it's, uh, the, the mini hipster is probably two-thirds the size of this, probably, roughly, just off the cuff. But this has the flap, the 
opening. It does have some gusseting to it, so it is very accessible. You can get in there. You can put things in there, not just a skinny slot. It actually has pouch space there, so you can put your keys or whatever. Behind that, you have your main zipper pocket. It's a single zipper around. Inside the main pocket, you have a little key clip. It's not a bungee, but a little key leash. And you have a zipper pocket on the back. And that is it for the main pocket. Put all these things back inside. And then on the back, you have a slip pocket, which is perfect for your cell phone. So for me, this is a very great size bag for just running around most days. Lately, I've been running around most of the time with just my zip ID with my chapstick and my car key attached to it. And I could throw that in my pickleball bag. I can throw it in whatever bag and go around. But I have a purse set up for the longer, bigger stuff. Um, but this is going to go on the trip with me as well for just another option. But this one I got lucky. And the plaid is pretty straight. So it has that magnetic snap there on the front. And it lines up pretty well. But it is a very nice black, red, and white plaid. And you could just see that there. And Performance Twill is water resistant. It is more robust, more durable than, certainly than recycled cotton. So that's a good thing. All right, this last piece is also in Paris plaid. And it is a tote. And I don't want to say the wrong name, but where's the tag? <laughs> it's like the I'll tell you what it is because I have the bag right here it is the large multi-strap tote there you go it is a Vera size tote but I like it because it's different than the Vera. I have a lot of Vera's already. I like that it has these side pockets. I'm not 100% sold on the way that they are set up, but they work for me so far. There's a zipper, and the zipper goes all the way around, but the pocket also goes all the way around. So if you have like a big thing, like a big water jug, you can put it there and it will accommodate it. Of course, that eats into the middle of your bag and makes your bag all wonky sided. But you can actually carry it that way. Um, or it functions just as a pocket in the front and a pocket in the back. It naturally divides itself. It, but if you put smaller things, they'll migrate back and forth and that's fine. Um, I haven't used the zippers on these bags yet. Um, this one has the zippers inside out. I'm not generally a fan of that uh, because they tend to be not as slick. These ones seem to be kind of nice. I don't mind it on this one. It has the metal placard for the Vera Bradley tag there. And it has the straps that go all the way down on both sides. So it's a very robust bag that will take the weight of whatever you're going to put in it for a long time. It's not just going to pull off the ones that are just sewn up here. Inside you have several pockets of course you have not the normal Vera you have two slips on the front and you have a zipper pocket on the back and that's it but you have a removable adjustable crossbody strap and it is the cotton well no it's not cotton it's a nylon seatbelt strap but it's removable and adjustable and oddly this one is currently just clipped onto the zipper which is weird and also hard to get off. I have to work on that. And it should be on the loop. It does have loops on both sides. So that I like. I like having that crossbody option on my bags. Um, it doesn't have to be on all bags all the time, but I often go hands free for this thing. So throwing this over my shoulder most of the time, just with the normal straps, but then I would, of course utilize that crossbody strap as well. So 
there you have it, the multi strap tote. And that brings us to the end of this haul. I'll see you again soon. Hope you're having a great summer. Bye for now.